And to all you people back in the Shire, turn your porch lights off because we're coming home with a trophy. Hey there, welcome to Sharkcast Pod, a podcast dedicated to the greatest sporting club in the history of the world, the mighty Cronulla Sutherland Sharks. This short, sharp winning review is brought to you by Dyson Logistics, the Royal Motor Yacht Club in Port Hacking, and Jason Hawes at Crips and Crips Real Estate. Uh, my name is Sam Shinazi, you know, G from 2015, and I'm here to sh- talk briefly to you about the glorious Cronulla Sharks winning 22 points to 12 over the Brisbane Broncos at Suncorp Stadium, our new favourite venue to play at. We are currently top of the table. Melbourne is still yet to play this weekend, but currently top of the table, uh, changing a two-game losing streak into a great win tonight. Great team effort. Some obvious standouts we'll get to. But in the general scheme of things, I am just thoroughly impressed by that performance. It was all heart. Our forwards outmuscled theirs, and everyone else did their job. And just a tremendous uh, feel-good victory I think the fan base needed that. Everyone was starting to freak out a little bit. And this one certainly uh, puts a lot more confidence into us with bigger games. You know, Brisbane at Suncorp. Origin affected, absolutely. We were missing the King of Carringbar, Nico Hines. They were missing Reese Walsh. Some of their other Origin guys look pretty tired. So maybe the Origin affected games, as much as I dislike them, maybe it helped us today. And I'll take those two points. Just a tremendous team victory, uh, 22 points to 12. Started out really well, Cronulla. Running hard, tackling hard, I thought very dominant. But Brisbane were the first to score through Carrigan, convert a try. And then not too much later, about five minutes later, we had a Talakai try, really nice, leading up to that with some offloads and him just beating about four guys close to the line. Smoothie scored a try for them, which was from a kick, quite unlucky with Trindle uh, unable to stop the kick, ricochets off him and they score. And then in the second half, it was all Cronulla. Uh, They came out so strong. Uh, Royce Hunt with the first tackle, absolutely changing the game in the second half. And then Katoa scored from a scrum, really just one-on-one stuff, but a great step from the uh, Tongan Fisherman. And he scored a lovely try. Trindle scored a great solo try five minutes later. And then Blake Braley scored in the 51st minute, and that kind of cemented the game. Uh, Trindle got three goals. He missed a few that he really should have got. We'll talk about that. But uh, overall, a really strong performance from the Sharks. We had close to 60% possession. We ran for 500 more meters. We busted 12 more tackles. We had about 200 more post-contact meters, three more offloads. They had one more line break. We completed it 30 Five of 44. They had 32 or 39. It's a pretty high quality game. Tackled in opposition 20 was a little bit of a worry because it ended up being 35 to 10. But for a while there, we just couldn't crack them. And then they scored from that. So that was a bit of a concern, but it all worked out okay. We missed 21 tackles to their 33. So a much better defensive effort. And really defense and the, the forwards dominating really won us the game. We're getting... We're getting towards the end of our big month of football. We know that we defeated Melbourne. We defeated the Roosters. We lost to Penrith really badly. We lost to Parramatta in a game that I didn't think was that bad. We beat Brisbane. And now we come home on Thursday night to the Dolphins before getting a bye. Very important to turn this win into a win against the Dolphins. But as I said to my friend Clinton Maynard, Let us enjoy this game for five minutes before we worry about the next one. Let's go through the team because they all played a role in the win tonight. I thought Will Kennedy was outstanding. I really did. He was so safe and ran the ball back really well. I think at times we're looking at him to step up a bit more in attack, and I understand that, but I thought overall he was really good tonight, Will Kennedy, and I think a lot of those kicks were just so well protected by him and he he got us off to some great starts in the sets. And I love what he's doing. I I can't believe there's any criticism about this guy at the moment. Uh, But I'm I'm here to say Will Kennedy's our guy and I I really respect the heck out of him. Both wingers were really solid tonight. Sione Katoa 
I ran for about 130 meters, Ronaldo for about 170. I should say Will Kennedy had about 120 meters too. Uh, Katoa, important try and some great, great runs, getting us out of our own end. Ronnie had a glaring error towards the end, but I thought overall he was really strong. Really good runs. He, he looked like he was almost playing centers at some point, uh, particularly in the first half. But he wasn't, but just sort of looked that way watching it. And maybe the center had crept outside of him. But uh, Ronaldo was really great, especially with some of those kick returns. Jesse Ramian, absolutely back to his absolute best. Defensively, unbelievable. Just smashing blokes and a good game from Jesse. I thought it was a really good comeback from him. Kay Lero was great. Uh, ran really hard, some nice defense, particularly in the second half. And I thought a strong game from Kaylee Rowe. Now, the halves is an interesting one, isn't it? Something we're going to debate for weeks on end, I think. Because Nico's back, in theory, as far as we know, against the Dolphins. So who's going to partner him, do you think? There's pros and cons there with who you, who you choose. The cons aren't that bad, I should point out. But uh, I thought tonight... I thought tonight Atkinson was the better half until Trindle put his stamp on the game around the 50th minute mark. So, tough one to judge between the two of them. They both played well. Both did good things. Both did less than good things. Dan Atkinson's passing game needs to be explored a bit more because I don't see much of it out there. And that's maybe a negative for him. Everything else he does really well. And at 100 kilometers an hour, and I, I, I really have grown to really love Dan Atkinson. Really happy to see Trindle score that try. And he got better as the game went along. Some good defense as well. And I think overall a strong return for Trindle. Not to say it was perfect, but I thought when we needed him, he stood up. But who partners Nico is the big question that I want to ask you guys and girls. Get in touch, shoutcastpod at gmail.com. Or DM us on the socials. Toby Rudolph started the game and he was excellent. He was excellent all game. Both since he played in, he was great. And I thought Toby Rudolph really got us off on the front foot. Really happy to see that. Blake Braley, I thought overall had a strong game. Not perfect by any means. But some nice elusive running and some good defense when needed. Uh, a few things in there we can work on. But I thought overall Blake was strong. Kafusi did his job. I know there was an error towards the end of the game, but Kafusi did his job, started well. The stats aren't amazing, but he did his job. I also like the idea of Tom Hazelton off the bench, giving him a bit of a break from the week-to-week starting grind of NRL football. Britton Nicara, I thought, again, more of an un- unhappy game than a happy game. Just a few things in there we need to fix up, particularly discipline-wise. Otherwise, I thought he was fine, but I would like to see him run the ball a bit more. Sifatalakai, one of the best out there, just so dominant. And every time he gets the ball, the opposition gets scared. The fans of the Sharks cheer and uh, just a huge fan of Sifar. And wherever he plays in the team, he's going to give you everything he's got. Really cool interview with him on Fox afterwards as well. You should check out. Captain Cam McInnes. I mean, what more can we say about this guy? He is just such a great leader. And he played his heart out again today after playing his heart out for his state on Wednesday. And I love everything about Cam. And I'm just so happy that he's sort of getting the accolades that he deserves from the wider public. And he played great again tonight. Just so direct. He straightens that line up, tackles everything that moves. And uh, just a top, top fella. Well done, Cam. We appreciate your efforts, man. Good bench. Jack Williams had a few errors tonight, but still ran hard, played hard. Criticize him all you want, but he brings a lot to this team. Royce Hunt changed the game. Make no mistake about that. Royce Hunt changed the game. He's been good form for the past three, four weeks. And, you know, whether it's got anything to do with him being allegedly shopped around, which I don't think is even close to true. But if he plays like that, he'll be starting games with Fenua Blake next year. Forget about bench or 18th man. Absolutely dynamite form. I hope he doesn't go anywhere, especially with that sort of form. And good on him for turning around some, I would say, not average form, but just being the beast that he can be. Like tonight is what he can be. And it was fantastic to see. Big Tuku didn't get a lot of time, but he had some dominant runs and he was a presence out there for a short time. Love what he does. And 
Billy Burns did not make the field, but he was her 18th man, celebrating hard on the sideline. The opening, you know, 15, 20 minutes after the second half really changed the game. And again, Royce Hunt and the forward pack really dominated. Superb effort all around. Really happy for the team, for the coach, for the fans, for the Brisbane fans especially. And if you don't have a ticket for the Thursday night against the Dolphins, get one. Get down there if you can, of course. If you can't, do what you got to do. But it's going to be a great atmosphere. And this team is coming first. We've lost three games all year. So whilst there are things to improve on, I don't think we can fault the effort, generally speaking. As you can tell, I'm really excited. It's straight after the game and got a million things to do. But I wanted to jump on and do this for our listeners and for myself on behalf of all the other Shark Cast Potters. Uh, stay tuned. We've got a lot planned for you guys and girls. We'll most likely speak to you next on Monday morning if Kieran's free. Hopefully he is. I haven't checked with him. But he's fired up as well because I've been messaging with him all night. So take care. Enjoy first place until at least Sunday. Let's keep winning. It's fun. I think this could be a special year. Up, up, baby. I'm going to play the song now. Sharks forever Go out and play without fear Now's the time to see